this one's just chilling. And Kitty has decided my boob is a favorite place to take a nap. Is it comfy? She's so goddamn cute. <laughs> My name is Shishiro Reaper, and if you can't read, I got a button on my shirt that I got for my birthday for one of my friends that says, Woke up gay again! And, um, I feel that in my soul. So, yeah. I'm gonna be wearing this for a bit now. So, it is officially summer here in Canada. It is finally time to not being shitty and cold. It is now nice and bright and sunny, and my cat's laying down on my bed. I've got dinner on the side because it's not a Yashiri bus stream if she is not eating during said stream. I keep playing my life, alright? So I'm gonna be doing a mermaid drawing and this is basically, I was like, alright, before the stream is on because I have time, I'm gonna do a doodle. So this is the basic doodle of what I'm gonna do. And I'm going to do a bit more. So here we are! Their up sketch area. I'm one of those weird artists that, like, I find it really hard to do sketch art a lot of the time. So when I actually do, like, sketches, it kind of looks more like a finished product kind of deal than an actual sketch. Like, the only kind of thing I can do is, like, this kind of rough sketch where it's, like, almost nothing.
because I like the idea, I'm gonna draw her through the ring
close, okay? Do it how you look, but I'm fine. And I would try to set that up. In my mind, wherever I go in my dreams, when I lay in my bed, I can get you out of there. I just wanna make you feel, feel special, but I don't know when it doesn't know your type is all right.
I realize I've been talking a lot this stream. I'm very sorry. My brain is focused on this. You guys get to listen to some kawaii courses. That's something nice, I guess. <laughs> drawing for me. Also, I'm trying to stay away from like drawing things on faces and get poses. I'm trying to do more of my own poses, even if they're simple. Which this one totally is, and I understand that. Like, it shows such a basic ass pose. But I'm just like, it, it works, so I guess this is fine. I don't know what it's been going on lately, but like I haven't been feeling that creative to like work on my stories and shit like that, so I'm hoping drawing Stargazer might ignite the passion inside my soul. Also, I've just been like, I don't know, I feel like I've put myself to like creative work out. Like, I'm tired, I'm starting a new job, and on days off I've been trying to go outside more and stuff like that. Then when I get home, I'm exhausted and I don't want to write. And I feel bad because I have shit I need to work on. And I'm just like, <laughs> jellyfish ever, but whatever.
Anyone wondering why I've picked my music as Hawaii chord lately? It's because it doesn't seem to get copyright striked as much on YouTube. I do like the swing mix that I found one day though. That, well, that one's pretty good. This playlist is gonna be done soon, so I might switch to the swing one after this. Swing, rather swing. I like electro swing, okay? I don't know what it is about me, like, I've described it a couple times to a couple of my coworkers, and I was like, yeah, it's just, they're like, okay, what genre of music do you listen to? I'm like, I listen to everything from early 1920s pieces to modern pop. <laughs> Every genre, a god deal of languages, a couple of them are dead. <laughs> I listen to just about anything, as long as it's got a beat I like to it, I'm, I'm gonna listen to it.
Uh, that's my music ended. it again. I forgot my food because I've been too invested in my drive. Why do I even bring out food while I stream? Unless I'm reacting to shit. Oh god. I'm not the smartest streamer. I really am not. I don't think I talked much when I was playing Sam Max. 
on my birthday I played that game. It was so much- it was so funny. But like 98% of me was just me going, oh god damn it, I can get each back to the air. But that game is a lot of- is way funnier than I could ever hope to be, so. Hey Sierra's a bit of an excuse. I was letting the funny game do the funnies for me. It was not like Later Alligator where I got to voice the funny characters. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. That game has had some patches since I last played it, so a little part of me wants to play it again. Just like do a two hour stream where it's just like, alright, you know what all I'm doing is playing Later Alligator. That game is adorbs. That was a good game I wrote about me. But I'm having a lot of fun with the Sam Max games, because, uh, oh, that's a nostalgic property from my childhood, because I used to watch the cartoon when I was young, and people were like, wait, Sam Max has a cartoon? Yes, it does. It's like, it was a season long, it was about 20 something episodes, and I watched it a lot when I was a kid. I don't remember, I think my sister had it on like DVD, VHS, or DVD, I think it was VHS at the time. But she had the, f the first season somewhere. And I remember I watched a lot of it when I was younger. And then when I was like a teenager, I remembered the show goddamn existed and was like, you know what? I'm gonna find it, and then I watched a bunch of it when I was in high school and loved it all over again. Cause I got a lot more of the jokes when I was older. When I was a kid, I was just like, hey, this is goofy, I like it. Every, it's one of those things, like, it's almost like an Animaniacs for me, where something I definitely watched when I was younger, loved it. And then now it's just one of those things that randomly the obsession hits me and I'm like, Alright, I'm gonna hyperfixate on this one thing!
number three, ten years ago, was released today from the federal penitentiary after serving 11 years of a tenth life sentence. To this day, a quarter of a million in gold bullion involved in the original crime has not been recovered. Police officials doubt the gold can be recovered, pointing out that should the gold be found by Congress, the insurance company had the first plan. A quarter of a million in gold, and this guy used to be a part of Hey, I should like to meet this guy. gonna be it for today. Oh, that looks pretty good. I ain't doing it. Oh, I should try. No, I probably should.
fast going army, slow. What you're going to hear about today is nothing short of a miracle. It's dramatically new, made possible only through years of research, invention, and innovation. Yet when wires are loaded with a lot of conversations that are boosted in strength and travel some distance, something else happens. Let me show you. You see, instead of sounding like this, Shit, bullshit, Can you tell I hate shading? I hate it. Comes out sounding like this. Oh, well, fair. I don't really like coloring. <laughs> Like, for most of my art career, I didn't color shit. Like, I was the kid that when they gave me coloring books, I just drew on them. <laughs> I didn't like coloring shit. I still don't like coloring shit. Like, when my family was like, my sister got super into the adult coloring books, and she's like, well, you're artistic, why don't you, like, get into it? And I'm like, I fucking hate coloring. I want you to meet a great I would much rather just draw something on my own and color it. Just spend hours coloring shit. Nope. Not my idea of fun, sister. <laughs> to be quite honest, I hate the idea. <laughs> Just the concept alone makes me get it. I don't know why I hate it so much. I just know I hate it. <laughs> it's just like, I just know I hate this one. I don't know why, to be quite honest. For all intents and purposes, this should be something that I generally should like, but nope, but nope, my brain's like, no, nope, we hate this!
this month, thousands of people are going to summer camp, where they awake every morning and go to sleep every night to the strains of the bugle. So the Alamite Brigadiers thought it would be appropriate to play Bugle Call Rag. Okay, boys, let her roll. Welcome. this bad boy. Alright, I did it. Oh my god, my neck. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed this stream. Enjoyed watching this stream. If you want to see more of my screens, just start me here on Twitch. I'll be streaming again on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be probably playing more Sam and Max. <laughs> I might, I'm gonna try to pick up doing my reaction streams again, but I need to know what days I have off and when, I, what days I'll be able to stream every week to do that one. But for now, I'm just gonna do art and I'm gonna do gaming. So I'll probably come back with Sam and Max uh, next stream on Wednesday. I'll probably stream around the same time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so join, hit me up then. Um, if you guys want to help support everything I do here on the internet, go check out my coffee page. For the other things I do on the internet, I stream here, I put these up on my YouTube channel, uh, even if there, well, there's no monetization ever on that channel, so whatever. And then I do fan art on DivinArt, Tumblr, Instagram. I write fanfiction on fanfiction.net in AO3, where it features my little darling here, Stargazer, my TFOC. I have two fanfictions in her universe, Transformers Animated Youngling and Transformers Prime Youngling. And there's going to be more I'm writing. Currently I'm working on the More Than Meets the Eye comic one, the R.I.D. comic one, uh, the Rope Rescue Bots one, uh, the one where she ends up with Decepticons and an alternate universe kind of thing. The one where she dies, rebirth, and like reborn into a new world. And uh, the G1 one, which is a, a weird one because as, as I'm watching the entirety of G1, I'm like re editing things. And that's taking a bit longer than I thought. And also, my brain's like, eh, we throw it alright, fan fiction. I'm like, 
kind of do, Brain? I mean, we have projects we need to do. Right? It's like, eh, Pokemon. Lately, my brain's been obsessed with Pokemon. I'm also apartment hunting at the moment, so like, and spending a lot of time looking at apartments. I apply, I sent a message to people looking for a roommate because uh, as much as I do wish to live on my own, I also know I'll be able to save up money and buy myself more things and pay off my credit card faster if I get roommates. So I applied to one place. It has like a gym and a oh, what's it called? It's in theater? Oh, I don't care. I like gym idea because they have the pedal bikes. And that's good for my for my uh, out of shape ass. Um, and then. Yeah, I kind of hit that one up, and they allow pets. But the biggest thing with the tiny apartments in the city is number one, they're stupidly overpriced. And number two, a lot of them don't allow pets, and the people that already have, like, are looking for roommates and allow pets, they already have pets! And, well, Kitty is a little bit of a drama queen, and uh, she has to be the queen of the house. She can handle a, a cat. But a dog is no, no, and like, a lot of people already have cats. They're like, I don't want another cat because my cat doesn't get along with other cats. And I'm like, my cat does. After she's made herself known. And that is the fact that she is the queen. Anyone who thinks otherwise is going to get smacked. I'm looking over at her. She's sleeping adorably. So anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll try to stream more consistently. And also switching from having two jobs to one job coming this month, the end of this month. So that's also another reason why I've been like, <laughs> thank you, and I love you. And make sure to stay safe out there, wear your mask, and all that good shit, and get your vaccines. Bye, I love you, boys. Bye. Ow. Proud of you, Maria. <laughs> no words. <laughs> Just cry. You got your future back. Yeah. 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 We'll be gaming. I built you a great restaurant. You ready to sit? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Count of three. One, two, three. Woo! <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah.